Hello everyone and you're welcome. In this lesson, I'll show you how you can create a script with Unity. So let's go ahead and begin firing up Unity Hub. So to start up Unity Hub, you can just click on start and type Unity Hub. And then once you have that, you can run it as an administrator and you can have this screen right here. So what I'm going to do is to quickly start up a new Unity project by clicking on new. It's going to be a 3D project, but you can set any project you want. And let's call that our underscore code underscore zero one underscore begin and I'll just click on create so now that unity has loaded after we've created our new project let's go ahead and see how we can create a script to create a script we can just go to assets create and click on C sharp script now before we click anything else we can actually give the script a name so we're going to call this our first script and we'll just hit the return key now, when we installed Unity, Unity installed what is called a development environment. So it's usually Visual Studio 2017 or 2019, depending on which one you set up. So to open up a script, we'll just have to double click a script and then that script is going to open up. Note that when you click on a script within Unity, it's going to quickly show you the information that is contained within that script. So let's go ahead and just fire up uh, Visual Studio and then check out that script to see what it's contained in. So when Visual Studio loads up your script file, you can actually see some using statements, a class called the name of the class, which we called for a script. And we can see these two columns, which means this is inheriting from a class called mono behavior. Also, we can actually see that it created two functions for us called start and the update. A function is just a shortcut that contains a group of codes and we don't need to keep on creating those pieces of codes all the time. This is a quick anatomy of a script. The using system collections and using Unity Engine also provide a shorthand of importing some most important classes that will help us compile this script. So let me just go ahead and minimize this. So why do we need a script in Unity and why is it so important? Well, a script is important in Unity because you use it to control the behavior of your game object. So most of the times, if you want your game objects to increase in size, decrease, to respond to keyboard events or to control events or to respond to game, respond to game management and input or program gameplay, you actually need to have a script. A script can be attached to any game object in order to control it. And almost everything in Unity is a game object. So for instance, if we click on the camera, our camera is a game object and we can actually use that to see a preview of our scene. Let's go ahead and create a cube or a spare or any game object you have in mind and then attach a script to it. To attach a script to any object, we simply click and drag that script to the object. So right now I've attached this script to my main camera. If I just collapse this, we can actually see our script called first script. Let's go ahead and see a simple way we can add information to this script. So let's get back to Visual Studio and have our script. Now the start method is going to be called just once and the update method is going to be called continuously per frame. You can think about the update as an event happening every second and whatever we place in between is going to happen every second. Let's go ahead and do a basic code that is going to display our name. So first I'm going to use a method called debug.log. So I'm just going to say debug.log and within the parentheses I'm just going to type in these two quotes that represent a string and I'll just say I'll uh, just say hello, comma, your name is just like that. And I'll put a little space. And what I'm going to do is to create a variable right here underneath our class. And a variable is just going to store a reference. So I'm just going to call a string your name. And then you'll just pass in your name. So I'll just say uh, Peter Stephen as a string that will store a reference to your name. And once we've done that, we'll just go ahead and concatenate that right here. So we'll say plus your name. And we'll end that with a statement because this is a, a string. Now 
There we go, just like that. So let's go ahead and use double quotes for strings. And just like that, we have created a string variable called Peter Steven. And then we want to print out this using a debug statement called uh, debug.log, hello, your name is, and then whatever name you pass in here. So let's go ahead and save our script and get back to Unity. Now you're going to see at the bottom right, a little loading screen right here is just telling you that this is actually updating that information. So let's go ahead and just play our scene. So now that we've say, played our scene, if we look down here at the bottom, it simply says, your name is Peter Steven, right? So that's our first script. And that's how we can attach a script to a game object. And then we can actually see that game object display information that contains in our scene. One way to organize our scene, if we go back to our project window, we could just create a right click and create a folder and just call that scripts. And once we have that, let's go ahead and drag our script to the script folder. And let's go ahead and save our project so Unity can quickly update that. If for some reason you cannot see your console, you can just go to window and let's look for general. And then we can quickly click on console to have our console showing, or you can do a control shift C to show your console. So if you go to window general, you can do a control shift and see just the display and see that console. So that's it guys. In the next lesson, we're going to see how we can learn more about scripts and access our script window. Thank you very much for watching.